You know, it honestly doesn't matter whether you're at a trade show or a class. You're always gonna have somebody who just does not understand the concept of cuticle application. So we wanna make this as easy as possible. And honestly, it's not hard at all. You just have to understand your brush acts as a barrier between the cuticle area and the acrylic. I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna take an acrylic pearl, I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to set it right to the center of the nail. Notice the space of the cuticle area. Immediately, the tip of the brush is going to get behind and press the cuticle area flush to the natural nail. As the acrylic starts to run or self-level down the right side, I want to be able to keep it nice and flush. I don't want to pull it from the back as you can see what happens. It ends up pulling all the acrylic off the nail. So let's go through that a few more times. I'm gonna wipe it off, and we're gonna start back from the beginning. Notice, a lot of people, what they do is they pick up the pearl and they end up pushing it out to the cuticle area. And what this does, it creates a big, fat horseshoe around the cuticle area. Let's go ahead and remove that again. We're gonna keep doing this until we get this right. Frame number two, side profile. Do you guys see how the finger is actually pointing down towards the ground? We wanna be able to take the tip of the brush, as you can see, and when we press the acrylic pearl to the cuticle area, notice that the acrylic is behind the tip of the brush behind the tip of the brush, behind the tip of the brush, flowing towards the stress area. Look, if you could apply it flush to the natural nail, chances are you're probably gonna not have to file that much. <sighs> Wouldn't that be nice, right? Nice, easy, flush application. That means less filing time for you. So what we have is we have a bird's eye view. The most important thing is understanding where to set the pearl, how to place the tip of your brush, and notice how the tip of the brush contours to the shape of the nail as I work it. It doesn't matter where it flows here because I can end up brushing it out towards the tip. As you can see, the tip of the brush contours to the shape of the cuticle. If you're looking at the side profile, again, notice where the thickness is. Another tip and trick, notice how I actually balance my finger as I am contouring the tip of the brush around the cuticle area. So we're gonna be able to apply this to actual practical use. Take my brush, I get a nice pearl, I set it to the cuticle area, notice how my fingers are well balanced. That way I don't shake as I start to move the product around the cuticle area, applying it nice and flush. Look at that. How easy is that? You know the great thing about our products too? It doesn't matter what you mix and match, you are going to get perfect consistency every time.